Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to be making a do-it-yourself U-part wig and these are the items that I'm using. So I have a make your own U-part wig from my local beauty supply. I got this for $6.99. It also comes with four combs. I'm going to be using a needle, C-curve needles with a sewing thread, a regular thread, with a needle, a ponytail holder, some T pins. This right here is a tool that I use. I'll show you that in another video. These are the clips I'm going to use. Oops. And then I use a duckbill clip. Uh, my bundles are from her imports. I got Brazilian um, 18 and 20 inches. Okay. I have the U part wig open. It's the um, one for center parting and it has an invisible lace front. So I'll probably be cutting the lace part off and that will be where my hair is. First, because I want this wig to be removable, I am going to sew some combs onto it. So I'm going to flip it inside out. And then you know it's inside out because the rubber band, that band is there. So I'm going to flip it inside out. I'm about to attach this to my mannequin head and then go from there. Okay, so now I have the mannequin on the tripod. I'm about to it is inside out. And I'm going to sew the combs. I want to comb here, a comb here. This combs all around the perimeters so I can take it on and take it off daily as needed. So I'm going to start with the tops and I'm going to add combs all the way around using the regular needle, regular thread, and these combs. I don't need the mannequin head to do this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have one of the combs on. Well, actually two on, and I'm just going to go around the cap and just keep adding clips. So, just because I poke myself and I don't want to cuss on here. <laughs> well, I'm just sewing them on, and then just in case I poke myself, you guys don't need to see that. So, yeah, be very careful when using a needle. You might want to use, like, something over your thumb to catch the points. I'll be back. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that you need scissors as well because you're going to be threading a needle. I threaded the needle, and now I'm tying the knot on the thread. And... I'm about to sew the first comb onto the unit. The base is what I like to call it. So I just always make sure I have a huge knot. So I loop it through a couple of times. And this is going to hold on the clip. Okay. So I hope I'm in the shot. So this is the top of the U-part wig. It's inside out. And as you can see, the comb is going to be able to clip on the hair, on my actual hair. So I'm going to sew it to where it would clamp my hair. So the comb is facing down. And then I'm going to just sew it on using, making sure I secure each tooth on the comb. I'll be back after I get this on. So now I have sewed all of the combs onto the perimeter of the cap. All facing the same direction. 
I didn't know where to put the bottom weight, so I put it at the little tail piece that you clip on. That way, just in case, I can wear it up. I kind of wanted to put a track underneath this, but it's too late because I already sewed the clips on. Because I want to be able to pull the wig, like, up into a bun or a high ponytail, natural looking. So, this is the wig cap completed with the kit with the clips on there so now I am about to attach using these T clips these T pins I'm sorry and um attach the wig to the cap so I can begin to sew the bundles onto the wig cap. Okay. Okay, so now I have placed the T pins on the styrofoam head to secure it while I'm sewing it. And I just put um like duct tape, clear duct tape just to make my mannequin be less damaged during this process. It just helps Yeah, the two pins are in. You can just take them out where you want to put them, stick them. I'm going to start sewing on a little tail and work my way up. Okay, now I'm about to start sewing the web hair onto this. So I'm just going to use a lock stitch pattern underhand. And hopefully it doesn't take all night. Okay. Okay. So now I can begin sewing the weft onto the tail part of this. So first I'm gonna no. <laughs> I'm going to go through the weft. I'm going to go through this first. I want to go through this band, but I'm going to just go around it. But I'm gonna go through the web too. I'm gonna try not to cut these bundles to prevent shedding. So I'm gonna use the fold over method. I'm gonna secure this edge down really good because I only wanna make this wig one time. I might have to add getting the thimble to the list because I did poke myself and mm, these aren't usually that sharp but sometimes they are. I'm just going to secure this edge on and then um, yeah I'm going to fold over. At least get one stitch through the bonnet. Excuse my nails. Maybe when they open, I need to be the first person in there. But I want to finish this first so my hair can be done. Okay. So I'm going to go back to... Uh, no, like if I get a wax stitch or something I don't like, I I take it out. I guess you can call me OCD, but I don't like ugly stitches or I want them close together. I'll use all the string in the world before I have a wig that's coming apart.
So I'm just going to get this track as close to the bottom as I can. That's how I want it. I'll be back. Okay, I also want to add that before I uh, do a sew-in, I always like, since I have so many sew-in needles, I just always thread my needles first all of them and then I it makes my sewing process go so much easier but say you don't have like a styrofoam head to use you know for this process you can always just use your knee because even though I have a mannequin I always like it's just easier for me to you know turn it around and sit on the couch watch TV while I'm doing it so yeah I'm using my knee and the lighting's horrible and I'm sewing the um tracks onto the net still so i'm still on my first bundle so let me uh speed this up so now i have more progress uh, i left off right here where the uh, pin is and i just have to sew that around so what i do is i stick the t pins like through the weft so it will hold the placement of where i want to sew and i only have I'm only, I'm not doing the tan part, so I'm only doing the black part of the lace because I'm making a U part. So I'm on my second bundle. I didn't color the hair. I think I'm only going to color the top bundle. So this is how far I've got. And then I'm going to do like a final wash once I complete the install. I can't wait to put it on. It's coming out so good so far. And yeah. Cool. So I'll probably be able to wear it up because I'm getting so close to the border. So I just want it to be full and look really natural. I think the hardest part is going to be blending my hair to um, be like this. So, yeah. Okay, let me um, take a break and then I'll return and do some more. But this, I thought this was going to take forever. And it's not. It's like going so fast. Last night I did the clips. And um, today I started sewing. And yeah. It don't take all day to do nothing. So I've just been slowly progressing up the mannequin. This is like where it ends, the bundle ends. I'm gonna flip that over and then just start my row with that. I got the T pins in holding it. And this is where I'm at. So I only have um like a little bit of the crown, just this left to go and then hopefully I can squeeze a half a bundle in that and then that is the bundle that I'm going to dye I'm going to focus on that so once I get it all in I'm just trying to uh, keep these bottom two together because I'm not going to focus on dyeing those I want color underneath so I'm just going to dye the top bundle black I probably should dye it before I install it but no because it'll slow the process I'm ready to get this over with so I'll just dye it on the mannequin with a towel laying down so I don't have it uber messy everywhere but so far so good I am loving the outcome it is slaying honey these this is gonna be up in a bun they you will never know it's not my hair like don't tell nobody like this this here and then I got so many combs oh my goodness yeah, I'm loving it so far. So let me just continue up and just uh, get this thing finished because I am ready to slay to the gods, Hanty.